Okay, so it is January 16th and uh, 2018 and I am in the boat still. Um, it is uh, evening because I forgot that I was, uh, I forgot to do this again today. Um, I will get used to it. I'm pretty sure I'll get used to it eventually. Um, I'm trying out a new light that I got. It's bright, there you go, but it does cause reflections in my glasses. I don't know how to fix this. Like, do I just take on my glasses? That looks weird to me. <sighs> anyway, um, today was really good. Today was a really good day. Um, I started my day uh, with some Mozilla meetings and I put together the newsletter in record time because I already had a whole bunch of the stories laid out and it's just really easy to put together because I made a content calendar and that really helped. So uh, that was cool. And uh, then we, then I went and met with uh, this one, this woman that I work with, who I really enjoy um, working with. Her name's MJ, and she works for Mozilla. She's an editorial, and she's so cool. Like she's just really a neat person, and I, I had a really nice time talking with her. We talked about the editorial calendar and stuff, and it just is really cool to be working with people who I so respect and admire and just love working with. And she has some of the same visions for the uh, project as I do, and it's just so invigorating, you know, to work with people who are on the same wavelength. And that's something that in my career has been. Um, you know, there's been some people on my wavelength and some people not. And, uh, you know, we're really motivated by, by excellence and doing the right thing, not just having a job or showing up to work. And it's really nice to find people like that. Um, and, and I've found so many people like that at Mozilla. It's really cool. And then, uh, and then after that, uh, Russ, and I went to the university bookstore where I got the name of the buyer for the books. And uh, here's a funny story. People have been writing me asking where their books are for the Kickstarter, which is expected because their books should have been shipped already. And there was some confusion with some of the shipping stuff. And anyway, it's not my thing. Um, the publisher is dealing with it, but, uh, but anyway, um, so the, and, and then also people have been asking me where they can buy the book and, and how soon they can get it and stuff like that. And it's just, uh, you know, it's been very, um, well, it's been frustrating to me because I feel like, um, I'm letting people down and I hate that a lot. Um, and I hate telling people, no, you can't get a thing that I did, and that's just really hard, you know? I mean, I'm sure you can imagine that's hard. And so, uh, so anyway, uh, I just realized today that I have been putting it out there into the universe, uh, that I want to sell 250,000 copies of this book, and I have that idea, and I have that wish and I've been meditating on it and hoping for it and everything and this is just the way uh, that the universe is manifesting that for me um, but that people I don't have a way for people to actually purchase the book so it's a good good sign um, and I really sh uh, am very grateful and excited that people want to pu uh, purchase the book and that people are finding such great use out of it that they want to get more and get them for their friends and stuff like that. It's really exciting. So, um, so, but, but it just really helped me understand that I had to be clear and, uh, ask for what I wanted when I wanted it, not just any time. So anyway, it's been pretty funny and sad, but funny. Um, and, uh, what else, what else, what else? Oh, right. Duh. We went to the uh, underground tour, the underground Seattle tour, and it was really wonderful. Um, it uh, it's a uh, Seattle was built on top of um, after the Great Seattle Fire. Seattle was built on top of um, basically its own street system, 
and uh, so they uh, so so anyway they there's a bunch of old abandoned tunnels down there and there's a tour of them and it's pretty cool and so I went on that it was really fun and uh, yeah so that was and then we came back here and I took the dogs for a walk and that's the day and then we watched the crown until just now and then I remembered oh right I have to do my journal entry so here I am again uh, it's been 16 days since I've or actually I've been doing them for 17 days so that's pretty good right um, and I hope to never forget to do them and uh, yeah anyway uh, hey this light is pretty nice right it's, it's a good color the only problem is the I just might have to just not wear glasses how weird anyway um, yeah that's all that happened today today was a pretty good day um, it was really, it was really cool to kick around Seattle with Russ a little bit, and he got to have his own time and everything. We got off the boat, and now we're all tired and happy to be home. So, yeah, the trip is about halfway over, I think. Uh, it is Tuesday. We leave on Friday, and then we get back on Sunday um, after two days on the road. So, two more days on the road. So. Yeah, that's a long trip. It's a long vacation. It's just a really long vacation. Anyway, alright, cool. Have a good night.